Hey guys, so it's been a couple days after we separated the baby tarantulas. I think it was about four days ago. So let's check on them and see how they're actually do. Whoa. 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 Yo. They are all moving about. Oh my. That is insane. Yeah, definitely this container is a little bit too small for all of them. But, yo, that is so cool. That is insane. Oh my gosh. I'm legit so excited and shocked right now. That it is... Oh my gosh. What's up with these guys? Why are you guys not moving around? <laughs> Can you guys estimate? Okay, write down in the comment right now how many tarantulas do you think are in this container. Oh yeah, by the way, over here, no worries. I thought they would... Yeah, yeah, it's okay. They will not drop. <laughs> I was just going to say I thought they were going to drop. Actually, no, I was not thinking they were going to drop. Okay, I was not thinking because I know for a fact that they will not drop because I've already pretty much hot glued the, what do you call that, the coffee filter. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I was going to go buy more coffee filters because this was my mom's. So yeah. Anyways, guys, look at that. They have already started crawling all around and yeah, they cannot seem to pass through the bottom there because that's where I hot glued the cloth on and no one has drowned in the water, which, which proves that this method is foolproof. Like, it works, okay? It freaking works, which is awesome and I am so happy because we actually have a uh, sesimai, my Pelma sesimai, who is actually holding an egg sac. So, yeah, hopefully that egg sac is successful and we can do the same method. And like I said, I'm going to have to go buy another coffee filter and do the exact same method. So, yeah, it, it goes to show that it works. If you guys are thinking how to do a, a incubation and incubation medium, you can follow this method because... Apparently it works because I have looked online and all the ones that they say cut a small ring and then put the, the cup or something. I am kind of confused with that. I'm not really good with DIY stuff. So this is working, which is awesome. And I will continue to use this method in the future. Comment down below if there are any improvements that can... Oh my gosh, look at that. That can be done. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. So yeah, guys, I guess that'll be it for today's short video. Just a quick update. Just a little quick update on these little babies. And yeah, I cannot wait. I really hope they can bolt though, with all of them clumped up together. They should be able to. I really, really hope that majority of them, I know it's not going to be like a 100% survival rate, but I really hope that all of them will nicely molt out. We're going to have some good babies. I actually bought a lot of deli cups for them. So stay tuned for the rehousing video. I think we're going to do like a counting video in one take. So that's going to be a super long video. Stay tuned for that.